and welcome to the Island Stroke Cal Part 8. I'm Tess from us here at Sister Sea Stitch and together with the amazing team of Yarn and Colors we have come together to bring you these two lovely projects that are either a pillow or a blanket depending on what yarn you are using. It's the same pattern but we are using different yarn weights for both. So this week we are doing the very first part of the framing. We are doing five lovely rounds. One, two, three, four and five and we are bringing lots of texture and beginning our octagon shapes to our squares, transforming them. Love the texture. I will say that a lot in the tutorial <laughs> because I do love each and every round so, so much. So I'm so very eager to start. So let's check out what we need to make this week. To make this framing in the exact same colors that I have used, you will need five colors of must-haves from Yarn and Colors in the following shades. Mustard, Old Pink, Pearl, Cream and Eclair. You will also need a 3mm hook, a scissor and a darning needle to sew those ends in. And if you are making the blanket version, you will instead need the exact same colors but in the super must-have yarn together with a six millimeter hook. And as you can tell, there is quite a size difference between these two. I mean, look at this. This one will measure approximately 24 centimeters across when stretched lightly from this point to this or that point to that, okay? Whilst the super must have will measure a whopping 33 centimeters slightly stretched from point to point. Amazing. And please know that we are doing the framing for all the large squares that we have made, not the tumbelinas, but for the Ponding Lily, that was week one, week two, the Oaido square, week four, the Island Lily, week five, the Ellie Sunflower, and week seven, that was the A Little Something square. And no matter what colorway you are working on, either saunter in the sunlight, stroll by the sea, or walk in the woods, you can find all the color changes on the little divider notes that appears in between the rounds. And as always with us here at Sisters in Stitch, we are using US terminology throughout, and you can find all the abbreviations, stitches used, and terminology in our stitch guide that is placed on our homepage, sistersinstitch.com, as a free download together with the free written patterns that is available both as a printer friendly version along with a screen friendly one as well. So without further ado, get your things and let's begin. To begin our very first round of the framing, we are finding ourselves a chain space placed in the corner. For me, I'm working the Oaido square, so I will have a chain one, but if you're working some of the other squares, they will have a chain two, but that doesn't matter. We are placing the same amount of stitches, whether it's a chain one or a chain two here, okay? So into this, we are making four single crochets and I'm starting off with a standing stitch. So one, Two, three, and four, like that. And now you see the next stitch is almost hidden, but we're skipping that, so don't mind it. And into the next five stitches, we're making a single crochet. So one, two, three, four, and five. And in the next stitch, we are making a slip stitch and a chain one. Okay. And now we're skipping two stitches and into the third, we're making a DC3 bubble. So make three half finished double crochets. One, two, and three. Four loops on your hook, tilting slightly. Yarn over and pull through all four like that because we're going to create a lovely little bowl shape here so now we are chaining two skipping the next stitch and into the other we are making a dc3 bubble so one half finished double crochet two half finished double crochets and three half finished double crochets four loops on my hook yarn over and pull through all four, like that. And now we're getting some height, so we are chaining two and skipping the next stitch and into the second one here, we are making a treble three 
bubble. So yarn over twice, grab the yarn and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Like that. Then we'll make it two more of those half finished trebles. So just go ahead and pull through two and pull through two. And the last one. Pull through two, pull through two, four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. Like that. And then we're chaining two. So now we are mirroring our way back. So we're skipping one stitch and in the next, we are making another treble tree bubble. So yarn over twice and do as you did before. Pull through two and pull through two and repeating the same procedure. So you have three half finished trebles in the same stitch. Like that, four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. Like that. Chaining two. And you know the drill, we are skipping the next stitch and working a double crochet three bubble into the next one, okay? So one half finished double crochet, two and three. Oops. Don't go through many loops at once. There we go. Four loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through all four. Chaining two one more time, skipping a stitch and into the next one we are making a DC3 bubble. So one half inch double crochet, two half inch double crochets and three half finished double crochets. One, two, three, four loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through all four. And now we are back to chaining one, not two, but we are skipping two stitches. So into the third, we are making a slip stitch like that. And then we're making one single crochet in the next five stitches, which should take us all the way back to our corner chain space, okay? So I have done one, two, three, four, and here we have the last one, five. So this is how it will look. It will have this gorgeous little fan shape in the center of it. So what you will do is simply place four single crochets around the corner chain space, which could be a one or two chain, skipping the next stitch, which is the single crochet, then make one single crochet in the next five stitches, making a slip stitch, chaining one and skipping two stitches making a double crochet three bubble in the next stitch, chaining two whilst skipping the next stitch, and then making a DC three bubble in the next stitch, chaining two, skipping one stitch, making a treble three bubble in the next stitch, chaining two, skipping one stitch, making another treble three bubble, chaining two, skipping one stitch, DC three bubble in the next, chaining two, skipping one, DC three bubble in the next stitch, chaining one but skipping two stitches, making a slip stitch and then five single crochets over the next stitches, which will take you right back to the next corner. Do this three more times and then meet me up to close, okay? Have fun! We have now come all the way around and it looks adorable already. I mean, I really wanted to make a different shape already from the very first round of the framing. And I think we succeeded with that. It's just so cute. So what you will do now is simply fasten off with an invisible joint to the second stitch, which is the second single crochet of a corner. And then meet me up for round number two. So for round number two, we are going to keep on building on the shapes that we have started to form. So you are going to find yourself the second single crochet of a set of four in a corner. And into that, we're making two single crochets and I will start with the standing one. So one and two, like that. And then we're making two more in the next stitch. And in the next two stitches, we're making one single crochet in each. And then we are chaining two, like that. And now we're skipping the next five stitches, meaning this four last remaining single crochets and the slip stitch before a chain one space. And around the chain one space, we are making a DC3 bubble. 
So three half finished double crochets like that. Four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all. And then we're chaining one, skipping the DC3 bubble and around the next chain two space we are making another DC3 bubble. So one and two and three half finished double crochets. Four loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all four. And now we're chaining two, so one and two, and around the same chain two space we're making another DC3 bubble, okay? So you should have two around the first chain two space, like that. Chaining one and skipping the next bubble. And now we're repeating this four more times, so for the remaining chain two spaces, okay? So we are making DC3 bubble, a little bit like a heart shape here as you can tell, chaining two and then placing another one around the same chain two space. Like that. Chaining one, skipping the next bubble and repeating. So we are just Working those DC3 bubbles, chaining two, making another one around the same chain two space, like that, and then chain one and skip the next bubble. A DC3 bubble. Chaining two and the DC3 bubble. How many times will I say bubble in this tutorial, you might, uh, might ask? I will say a lot. They are just so sweet and bring such a lovely texture to the work. So now we're doing the repeat one more time. You should have done it five times in total. So just go ahead and do your DC3 bubble, chaining two, and making a DC3 bubble. Like this, chaining one, making a DC3 bubble around the next chain one space now. Like that, chaining two, so one and two, and skipping the next five stitches, meaning the slip stitch and four of these gorgeous little single crochets. And into the next stitch, we are making a single crochet and into the next one as follows. And then we're back to our corner. So to make a quick little recap, we are doing two single crochets in the second single crochet of the corner, and then two more single crochets in the third as well, followed by one single crochet in the next two stitches, chaining two, skipping five, meaning the single crochets and the slip stitch. Around the next chain one space, we are doing a DC3 bubble, chaining one, skipping one, making a DC3 bubble, chaining two, DC3 bubble, chaining one around this space, skipping the next stitch, repeating that four more times, making a DC3 bubble here, chaining two, skipping five stitches and making a single crochet in the next two stitches. Okay, so do that three more times and meet me up to close. And we have now come all the way around and it has this gorgeous enhanced shape that is just so precious. So what you will do now is simply close with an invisible joint to the second stitch being the second single crochet of a corner. See you in a bit. So to begin round number three, we are finding ourselves our third single crochet of a corner. And into this and the next three stitches after that we are doing a DC4 popcorn with a chain in between. But we'll start with this first one, so I'm starting off with a standing double crochet, like that, and then I do three more, so one and two, three and four in total, like that, raising my loop, going through the first, grabbing the loop and pulling through and chaining one to close. And then we chain one, and into the next stitch, 
we are repeating. So another four double crochets for our lovely little popcorn. One, two, three, and four. Dropping the loop, going through the first stitch, grabbing the loop and pulling through. And chain one to close, and then chain one. And into the next, we are doing the same, so you know the drill. This is going to create such a beautifully textured corner. I really had to make some popcorns. <laughs> they had to come into the design here. So chain one to close and chain one. And these are counting as chain one spaces and not chain two spaces because the closing chain is part of the popcorn. So now we're doing our final little one. One, two, and three, and four double crochets. Grabbing the loop, pulling through, and chaining one to close, like that. And then we're chaining two, because now we're skipping stitches. We're skipping the next two, and around the chain two space, we are making a slip stitch close to the bubble, okay? And around the bubble, we are making a front post single crochet, like that. And around the chain one space, we are doing a single crochet. We are now framing these. So a front post single crochet over the next bubble. And around the chain two space, we are placing two single crochets, like that. Front post single crochet around the next bubble single crochet around the chain one space front post single crochet around the bubble two single crochets around the chain two space and the front post single crochet around the bubble and a single crochet around the chain one space a front post single crochet around the next bubble and now we are at the top as you can tell, it's the bubbles between the two treble bubbles. And in here, we are doing four single crochets. So one, two, three, and four. Like that, because this is our peak. It looks adorable already. I just love this round. Okay, so it's quite simple. We are only going to mirror ourselves back down. Nothing else. So a front post single crochet around the bubble, a single crochet around the chain one space, front post single crochet around the bubble, two single crochets around the chain two space, one front post single crochet around the bubble, single crochet around the chain one, one front post single crochet around the bubble, two single crochets around the chain two space and a front post single crochet around the bubble. And we have one more to go, so one single crochet around the chain one space and one front post single crochet around the last little bubble, like that. And then we are slip stitching into the chain two space and chaining two. Skipping the next two stitches and then we are back to our corner. So it's quite a repetitive round. We are placing DC4 popcorns in the next three stitches with a chain one in between. And then we're doing a DC4 popcorn and chaining two. Making a slip stitch close to the bubble around the chain two space. Making a front post single crochet, then a single crochet, front post single crochet, two single crochets. Front post single crochet, one single crochet, front post single crochet, two single crochets, front post single crochet, one single crochet, front post single crochet, and then placing four single crochets around the center chain two space. And then we're going the same way back, so a front post single crochet, single crochet, front post single crochet, two single crochets, front post single crochet, single crochet, front post single crochet, two single crochets, front post single crochet, single crochet, front post single crochet, 
and then a slip stitch, chain two and skipping the next two stitches. So do that all the way around and then close with an invisible join to the second stitch being the closing chain of our first popcorn. So when you have finished your round, it should look like this. Isn't it gorgeous? I mean, I love these framing rounds. They are amazing, if I may say so myself. So let's begin with round number four. For round number four, we are building on our fans, making them a little bit taller. So we are going to start around any chain two space placed before a popcorn and make a DC4 popcorn. So I start with a standing double crochet and then working three more around the same to create my little DC4 popcorn. So one and two and three and four. And then I just go through the first grabbing the loop, pulling it through and closing with the chain that is part of the stitch and not part of the pattern. And chaining one, skipping the next popcorn and making another popcorn in the next chain one space. Here we go. Like that. I love popcorns. <laughs> and then we're chaining one skipping the next popcorn and in here around this center chain one space we are placing two popcorns with a chain one in between so we are doing our first popcorn and four double crochets like that closing with the chain and chaining one and then we are squeezing in a second one here so just pull the stitches a little bit to the side if you feel like it's tight to work here. And then just, once you pull the stitches together, it will become a little bit smaller. So it will look perfectly. And chaining one. Skipping the next popcorn and around the next chain one space, we're doing one DC4 popcorn. So no more than into that center one. That is the most of the popcorns we are making for this set. Closing and chaining one. And then we're skipping the last popcorn here and around the chain two, we are making a DC4 popcorn. So one and two, three and four double crochets. Like that. And then we're chaining two, so one and two. And now we're skipping six stitches, the first one being the slip stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Our seventh stitch is now the front post single crochet placed around the third bubble. So into that we make a single crochet and also into the next four stitches. So five single crochets in total. One and two, three, four and five, chaining one, skipping the next stitches. So one, two and three, these front post single crochets around the bubbles and the single crochet. And into this first single crochet of the four center ones, we are making a DC three bubble. So one, two and three half finished double crochets four loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through all four, like that. And then we're chaining two and making another DC3 bubble into the next stitch, like that, and chaining two. We will do this for all four stitches, so just keep on going, making your little DC three bubbles. Three and chaining two, and then we do our fourth and final one here. So one, two, and three. And now we are chaining just one and skipping the next three stitches. So the front post single crochet, the single crochet and the front post single crochet. And into the next five stitches, we are placing a single crochet. 
So one, two, three, four, and five. And now we're chaining three. So one, two, and three. And then we're skipping the next six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The last one should be the slip stitch. And then we are back to our popcorn corners. So what you will do is place a DC4 popcorn around the chain two space, chaining one, skipping the popcorn, making a DC4 popcorn around the next chain one space, chaining one, skipping the popcorn, making a DC four popcorn chaining one and a DC four popcorn around the center chain one space, chaining one, making a DC four popcorn around the next chain one space, chaining one, skipping the next popcorn, making a DC four popcorn chaining two around the chain two space, skipping the next six stitches, the first one being the slip stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six making a single crochet in the next five stitches, chaining one, skipping three, and into the first of the four center single crochets, we make a DC3 bubble, chaining two, and repeating that for the next two stitches, making a DC3 bubble in the last one, chaining only one, skipping three stitches, and making a single crochet into the next five stitches then chaining three and skipping the next six stitches, the slip stitch being the last one. And then you repeat. So do that for all three sides and meet me up to close. And here it is, finished with all four sides, looking absolutely spectacular. I love the texture that is coming up here. So what I will do now is simply slip stitch into the center of the first popcorn and then hide the ends behind it. And then we're ready for our fifth and final round for this week. So yeah, do that and meet me up for round number five. So for round number six, we are simply doing lots of single crochets and a few front post single crochets too, okay? So just find yourself a chain one space placed right before a DC3 bubble and around it make a single crochet like that and then we're doing a front post single crochet around the bubble and two single crochets around the chain two space a front post single crochet around the bubble and then four single crochets around this center chain two space so one and two three and four and then we do a front post single crochet around the next bubble and two single crochets around the chain two space. A front post single crochet around the bubble and then a single crochet around the chain one space. And then we're doing a single crochet in the next five stitches being these single crochets from the previous round. So one and two, three, four and five. And then we're making four single crochets around the chain three space. So one and two, three and four. And then we're doing a front post single crochet around the popcorn and two single crochets around the chain one space. And we're repeating that one more time. So a front post single crochet and two single crochets. Then we have arrived to the center set of popcorn. So we're doing a front post single crochet around the popcorn and then four single crochets around this center chain one space. So one and two and three and four. And then we're doing a front post single crochet around the next popcorn and two single crochets around the next chain one space. And the front post single crochet around the next popcorn and two single crochets around the next chain one space followed by a front post single crochet around the last popcorn like that and then we're doing four single crochets around the chain three space followed by a single crochet in the next five stitches 
So one, two, three, four, and five. And then we are back. So this is all that we did. We did a single crochet around the chain one space placed before the bubble, a front per single crochet around the bubble, two single crochets around the chain two space, a front per single crochet around the next bubble, four single crochets around the center chain two space, a front per single crochet, two single crochets, front per single crochet, single crochet, and a single crochet in the next five stitches, followed by four single crochets around the chain three space, front per single crochet around the next popcorn, two single crochets around the chain one space, front per single crochet around the popcorn, two single crochets around the chain one space, front per single crochet around the popcorn, four single crochets around the chain one space in the center, front per single crochet around the popcorn, two single crochets around the chain one space, front per single crochet around the popcorn, two single crochets around the chain one space, and a front per single crochet around the popcorn. And then four single crochets around the next chain three space, followed by one single crochet in the next five stitches. Okay, so do that three more times and meet me up to close. And here we have it. We have finished all four sides and it looks amazing. I love how this makes these little textured stitches really pop, but still gives a calmness to our rounds. And as always to close, we do an invisible join to the second stitch being this front per single crochet this time and then hide our ends well on the back side. So do that and meet me up for some final words. And there we have it. We have finished the first part of the framing, turning our squares into octagons. It looks absolutely amazing. I just love the texture it brings. And it already has a very different shape from where we started off today. So go ahead and now do that for the remaining four squares, which are the Ponding Lily, Island Lily, Ellie Sunflower, and a little something. We are not framing the Tambelinas, only these fives, okay? If you like this tutorial, please give us a thumbs up, leave a little comment below, subscribe to our channel and turn the notifications on because we're back on Friday next week with our second part of the framing and a few more parts after that. So yeah, until next time, bye!